Hi, welcome to my channel and this is episode number 9. In this episode, we will visit Manila South Cemetery, a Manila exclave located in Makati Central Business District. In February 1920, Manila government passed an ordinance 726 appropriating a sum of 700,000 pesos for the establishment of a cemetery in the South District of Manila. Sobel de Ayala family consists of siblings Jacobo, Alfonso, and Mercedes negotiated and sold 25 hectares of its Hacienda San Pedro de Makati in July 1920 to Manila City Government for 250,000 pesos, which is the present-day Manila South Cemetery. Come, join us to remember, celebrate the lives, and visit the final resting places of the younger sister of Andres Benipacio and the Las Catiponera, a national artist for music, the father of Filipino grammar, second mayor of Manila, a congressman of Manila Port District, a talent manager and support actress, and the 17th mayor of Manila. Espirijona Bonipacio or Lola Nonay was the fourth of the six children of Santiago Bonipacio and Catalina de Castro with Andres, Siriaco, Procopio, Troadio, and Maxima. At 17, Nonay married Teodoro Plata, one of the founders of Katipunan in 1893, who was executed in Bagumbayan, now Rizal Park, in 1896 upon discovery of KKK movement by Spaniards. After the revolution, Nona and Gregoria, the widow of Andres, was still being hunted by Aguinaldo's men where they hid and adopted by the distritos of Cavite, where Nona later married Emiliano, brother of Genoveva Distrito. They had six children. Lola Nonay died at the age of 80 in May 1956. Lucrecia Rosas Casilag was born in San Fernando, La Union and grew up in Paco, Manila. He studied in Paco Elementary School Valedictorian and PWU as High School Valedictorian and College Cum Laude. She has been awarded the Order of National Artists for Music in 1989 and credited for about 350 musical composition from folk songs, opera, and orchestral works and instrumental in developing Philippine music and culture. She never stopped composing music up to the last year of her life in 2008. She died in August due to pneumonia. She was 89. Lope K. Santos was born in September 1879 from Buting, Pasig. Santos is considered father of Filipino grammar due to his contribution to the development of Filipino grammar and Tagalog orthography. Santos served in government during U.S. occupation as 
Governor of Rizal from 1910 to 1913, Governor of Nueva Ecija 1918 to 1920, and a Senator for the 12th Senatorial District of Mindanao from 1919 to 1922. Santos authored several books including 1903, Bana Agat Sikat, 1939, Balarila ng Wikang Pambansa, and Balarilang Pangdalubhasa. Santos died in May 1963 as a result of complications in labor operation. He was 83. Leon Gawaran Ginto was the second and wartime mayor of Manila during Japanese occupation. He was born in June 1862 from Bacoor, Cavite, finished college from San Juan de Letran and pursued law at Escuela de Derecho, now Ateneo Law School. In 1920, he was employed by then-Senator Manuel L. Quezon as his private secretary. In 1942, he was appointed as mayor of Greater Manila based on Japanese-created puppet government. At the end of World War II, Quinto was indicted as a war criminal but was granted amnesty before Philippine independence of 1946. Since then, Quinto went into private sector as dean of Lyceum University and by 1955 served as governor of Quezon Province. Quinto died in July 1962 at the age of 76. The main street in Manila and the private university in his wife's hometown in Atimon and Quezon were named after the former mayor and governor. Congressman Augusto San Juan Francisco was the representative of 4th District of Manila in the 3rd and 4th Congress in 1953-1961. He was born in Santa Ana, Manila and attended Paco Elementary School and Oroño High School and finished law from UP. Francisco died in July 1961 at just 50. Tita Ange was born Cornelia Lee in January 1947. She was best remembered as a talent manager and casting director. She used to lead several fans club in the 60s including FPJ Susan, Rosemary Sonora Rique Belmonte, and Vilma Santos and Bobot Mortis love teams. It was director Pablo Santiago that gave her support role in several movies including 1974, Batyat Palu Palu with FVJ and Vilma Santos. 1976, Divino with Ricky Belmonte. 1976, Picnic with Daria Ramirez and Carmen Ronda. 1983, Del Macho Armas with Ramon Zamora. Oh. Alam niyo ba? Susunugin sa utunog itong takas at gagawin sa impyerno itong lugar na ito. Ba, kailangan makatakas ako. Baka masunog ang girlfriend ko. Kita mo naman, native na native. Akala ko nagtaksil ka na eh. Balde. Papatulang ko na sana si, si Dalmasio eh. Ako ang katapat nila. Ang mga armas na ito, ang papatay siyang nila. Lee died in March 2017 as a result of cardiac arrest. She was 70.
Ramon de la Guerra Bagat Singh was born in August 1916 from Sagay Negros Occidental. He was best remembered as Manila's mayor for five terms from 1972 to 1986. Bhagat Singh's father was an Indian immigrant from Punjab state named Mataram Bhagat Singh, which changed and adopted the Filipino name Amado Bhagat Singh. Bhagat Singh was a member of Manila Police Department from 1939 to 1941 and enlisted in U.S. Army forces in Far East during Japanese occupation and was a survivor of Bataan Death March. Ramon served in public office as Congressman of 3rd District of Manila from 1957 to 1965 and 1969 to 1972, and as Manila Mayor from 1972 to 1986. Bagat Singh died in February 2006 as a result of heart attack. He was 89. In the next episodes, we will post the video of our grave tour of parks located in Antipolo, Angono, and Pateros. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe if you like this video. See you in our next grave tour of the famous episodes.